Good morning, my brother. Welcome to your daily grip on God's Word. Today, we're just going to spend the uh, grip on Philemon, just chapter one. There's only one in this book, very small book. But starting tomorrow, we are going to be journeying through the whole book of Hebrews with, are you ready? Special guest, Mr. Countryman. It's going to lead us 13 days through the book of Hebrews. It Strap in. We had to pre-record it last week. Uh, it's, again, you guys will be encouraged, you will be challenged, you'll be blessed by the wisdom of Jack at 91. He'll be 92 on December 18th, and boy, is he finishing strong, and he's sharing his wisdom experience with us through the book of Hebrews. It's really powerful, guys. You want to strap in for that. But Philemon now is, uh, my G is verses 4 through 5, so better turn my page um, so I can share that with you. It, the title is Thanksgiving and Prayer. Chapter one, there is only one. My verses are four and five. I always thank my God as I remember you in my prayers because I hear about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints. So that's my G. My R, it is awesome connecting this past weekend with Steve Decker, hey Steve, from Oklahoma City. Steve has taken the grip method to his friends and family who are now doing the same, extending it to their friends and family. My eye is I too need to keep sharing with other men how to get a daily grip on God's word. It is all worth it for the one. Steve, I'm going to go personal just to you for a moment. It was phenomenal to meet you first time in person in Pinehurst. It's amazing how you can meet on Twitter, be on the calls on Wednesday night, the Zoom calls, and get connected into a community. And something about that leads up to that maybe expectation of connecting in person where, to me, it just went heart level. And super proud of you, Steve, for this last couple of years of you've really taken hold of your faith made it a priority, and not only just keeping it for yourself, but you're really sharing it with others. And I mean, Oklahoma City is just on fire because you used you as the spark. So great job. I'm here to encourage my brother, Steve. Bless you. I love you as my brother. Keep doing what you're doing, okay? My prayer is, Lord, use me today to connect to that one guy, to you, as you draw him into that personal relationship with you, Jesus. Amen. All right. Remember, Jack's coming on tomorrow morning for 13 straight days into the book of Hebrews. After that, we're going to go back a little bit and do um, uh, a few of the Psalms. Uh, I'll just give you a little hint on that. So let me close this out with a word of prayer for today. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you, God, for this journey that we're all on. I do thank you for guys like Steve that really, um, not only that you grab personally and draw them into your word through the grip, but Lord, that he actually starts sharing it with other guys, other family members, and what a story you're penning in and through his obedience to do that. Lord, would you nudge each and every one of us to not just keep this time for ourselves, but Lord, we would help that one other person to really get introduced to you by getting a grip on the word daily. We love you, Jesus. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Guys, we'll see you in the morning with Mr. Countryman.